Hey everybody, it's time for lots and lots of animal stories for kids featuring Miss Danny Donkey. Danny's Tales, learn a little every day. Danny's Tales, right here and far away, the help of our friends. We learn a little every day. Danny's Tales, the world is like a book. Let's take a look at what you can find. About anything on your mind, the world is like a book. Grab a pillow because it's story time! <laughs> That's right. What's today's story about? Be patient, I'll tell you in a moment, but I can promise all of you, you'll like it. Ladies and gentle persons, kids of all ages, get ready to take a magical journey to fun places and meet interesting people led by none other than your illustrious teacher and guide, me, Miss Danny Donkey! Yeah! Kids. Today's story is about bears. All kinds of bears. Polar bears, brown bears, Asian black bears, bears from everywhere. Yay! This bear book was written by a famous Canadian polar bear named Clyde. He can be found wandering around Churchill, Manitoba. It has all the information we could ever possibly want to know about our friends, the bear. Kids, Meet Clyde Bear. Hello, kids. Hi, Clyde Bear. <laughs> Hello, Danny. Haven't seen you since the book signing up in Churchill. Oh, that was such a nice day. You sold more books than I did. Well, I had the hometown advantage, Danny. Clyde, can you teach us about bears? I certainly can, Danny. Okie dokie. Let's begin with the bears I know best, polar bears. Most polar bears live in the Arctic Circle. A lot live at the very northernmost part of Canada. Our fur looks like it's white, but it's actually translucent. That means it lets sunlight go down to our skin. Below the top layer of fur are underhairs of orange or yellow. Bears are found everywhere in the world. We bears are mostly pretty big. We have large bodies and short legs with short stubby tails. Not long and lovely like mine. <laughs> True, Danny. Your tail is longer, so are your ears. Most bears have small round ears and eyes that face forward, just like yours, kids. What most people don't know about polar bears is that when there are no people around to watch, we love to dance. Uh, I've never seen a polar bear dance. <laughs> Not many people have, but guess what? What? I'm going to teach you how to do the polar bear dance. Yay! Just listen to the words and do what I do. It's heel and toe and away we go. Not too fast and not too slow. Polar bears in a trance. Having fun at the polar bear dance Swing and sway with laughter and cheers Turn around and wiggle your ears Bow your head and start to prance That's how you do the polar bear dance Clap your hands and stamp your feet Flap your ears at the very next beat Turn to the left and turn to the right Jump up and down with all your might Spin your tail and your foot up off the ground Come join the polar bears Now's your chance Let's all dance like the polar bears dance It's heel and toe and away we go Not too fast and not too slow Polar bears in a trance Having fun at the polar bear dance Clap your hands and stamp your feet Flap your ears at the very next beat Turn to the left and turn to the right Jump up and down with all your might Spin your tail and turn around Raise your foot up off the ground Come join the polar bears, now's your chance Let's all dance like the polar bears dance Swing and sway with laughter and cheers Turn around and wiggle your ears Bow 
bow your head and start to prance That's how you do the polar bear dance Spin your tail and turn around Raise your foot up off the ground Come join the polar bears, now's your chance Let's all dance like the polar bears dance Polar bears live out on the ice For us it's just like paradise We're big and white and love to swim Even in the winter we never get slim Spin your tail and turn around Raise your foot up off the ground Come join the polar bears, now's your chance Let's all dance like the polar bears 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 dance That was fun! Do you know any other bear dances? I heard about some bears who live in the Appalachian Mountains in the United States. They got together and formed a dance group. I think they were called the Teddy Bear Square Dance Club. Square dancing is a United States national dance. Bet you didn't know that. Nope, I didn't. Square dancing started in New England. People took the folk dances from the countries they're from and changed them a little so it would become the same dance. Come on, everybody, gather round. Here's a beat to get you off the ground. Clap your hands, stamp your feet, grab a hold of your honey sweet. Squeeze and smile and tell that you love her and hug and a snuggle and a kiss and a cuddle and teddy bear, teddy bear, move your partner here to there. Teddy bear, teddy bear, swing your partner in the air. Come on, form a circle, grab a hand. Jump and move your feet from where you stand Turn to the left, turn to the right Hold your honey nice and tight Squeeze and a smile and tell that you love her And hug and a snuggle and a kiss and a cuddle And teddy bear, teddy bear Move your partner here to there Teddy bear, teddy bear Swing your partner in the air Come on everybody, jump real high Yeah! Reach for the sun and look up to the sky Clap your hands, stamp your feet, grab a hold of your honey sweet. Squeeze and a smile and tell her that you love her and hug and a snuggle and a kiss and a cuddle and teddy bear, teddy bear, move your partner here to there. Teddy bear, teddy bear, swing your partner in the air. Teddy bear, teddy bear, move your partner here to there. Teddy bear, teddy bear, swing your partner in the air. <laughs> you were great, kids. Now, catch your breath, because it's off to California, where we'll meet the California brown bear. How are brown bears different than polar bears? Brown bears are really beautiful bears. Very big. Between 300 and 900 pounds. From the tip of their nose to the tip of their tail, the brown bear can be over 8 feet long. Brown bears live in more places around the world than any other bear. Today, we're visiting the California brown bear. One way you can tell a brown bear from any other bear is the large muscles in their shoulders. Their muscles are so big they look like a camel's hump. Bears use these muscles for digging, something that brown bears do a lot when they're searching for food. I heard that the California brown bears who live in the Santa Monica Mountains near the beach love to surf and skate.
us about the bears that live in Japan. There's about 10,000 Asiatic black bears, sometimes called the Tibetan moon bear. They mostly live in the mountains of Japan. <laughs> you know, sumo wrestlers look a lot like hairless bears, Danny. <laughs> One of Japan's favorite sports is called sumo. It's a special kind of wrestling. Sumo wrestlers are very big men who can weigh over 500 pounds. Wow, they are big, aren't they? The Asiatic bears, I've been told by some who should know, have their very own sumo. I wrote about it in my book. Sprinkle some salt and throw some rice. Stomp my feet, but don't look nice. Tie up my hair into a knot. Puff and snort and grunt a lot. Sumo, sumo, sumo bear. Do what you want, just don't pull hair. Kick and shove and slap and grab. Squash and crunch and squeeze that flap. 500 pounds is just my size. Staring into Others eyes drink up some water, spit it out. I'm in for a massive bout. Sumo, sumo, sumo bear, do what you want, just don't pull hair. Kick and shove and slap and grab, squash and crunch and squeeze that flap. Clyde, are there any other bears that live in Asia? One of the most popular bears in the world lives in China, Danny. It's the panda bear. Pandas are one of the most endangered bears, aren't they, Clyde? They sure are. Pandas only live in the bamboo forests of China. As the forests get smaller, there are fewer places for pandas to live. How are pandas the same or different than other bears, Clyde? This is bamboo. It's what the pandas eat. Pandas live and act very differently from most bears. The panda has six fingers on their front paws. That makes it the only bear that has an opposable thumb. An opposable thumb helps the panda hold on to stalks of bamboo. I can imagine pandas gathering the morning dew, practicing Tai Chi. When the moon rises over the bamboo trees And the leaves are rustled by a cooling breeze When the nighttime dew trickles down each stem And the meadows glow like an emerald gem That's when the panda bears come out to play To box with the shadows of each moonlit bay To crouch and hide inside the lush bamboo And Tai Chi dance the whole night through Tai Chi dance, Tai Chi dance, green bamboo Moonlight trance, Tai Chi dance, midnight dew Shadow box the whole night through This is when the panda bears come out to play Let's keep quiet, not get in their way As they crouch 
scratch inside the lush bamboo And Tai Chi dance the whole night through Tai Chi dance, Tai Chi dance, green bamboo Moonlight trance, Tai Chi dance, midnight dew Shadow box the whole night through In the green bamboo Green bamboo It's great, kids. <laughs> what bears are we going to learn about next, Clyde? I thought we'd visit Peru and meet the spectacled bear. Whitish or cream spectacles ring their eyes. These rings look like eyeglasses. Spectacles are an old-fashioned name for eyeglasses. <laughs> there are spectacled bears all around Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu? Machu Picchu is a wonderful place. Very high in the mountains of Peru. Machu Picchu was a very important place for the Incans. Incans lived in Mexico and Central America a long time ago. There are still some Incans living in Peru and Mexico today. What were the Incans like? Very smart. They invented some of the first musical instruments. They loved to sing and dance. Incas wink at you. A clue. Inka winka, inka winka foo. Inka winka foo. Doesn't mean I love you. For all I know, I got some gum on my shoe. But it's got the whole world singing in Peru. The bells are ringing. Inka winka foo. Inka winka foo. Inka's wink at me. Inka winka dee. Machu. Has a lot to see. Inka winka, inka winka dee. Incas wink a lot. There are stones that predict the equinox. And once I found a pair of socks, some rusty locks, a boomer's claw, a broken saw, an old jaw. But it's got the whole world singing in Peru. The bells are ringing. Inka winka dee. Inka winka dee. Inka winka. Shouldn't sing while I chew. Clap your hands and shout woohoo! Cause it's got the whole world singing in Peru. The bells are ringing, Inka Winka Foo, Inka Winka Foo. Wait a minute. Incas aren't bears. <laughs> Where was I, Danny? Oh, yes. There's a group of bears that are very important the European brown bear. They're found all through Western and parts of Eastern Europe. For instance, there's over 10,000 bears in Italy. <laughs> well, not in the cities, of course, but like most brown bears, in the woods. You know, I have cousins in the Southern Alps near Trentino, an uncle in the Central Apennines, and an aunt in the Pyrenees. Brown bears have lived in Europe for over 10,000 years. Bears were a very important part of most European circuses. Weren't they, Clyde? <sighs> yes, Danny, but not happily so. Here's a story that will help you understand how most circus bears really feel. I'm a bear, so then why? Please tell me why did they make me wear this clown costume? I am a noble bear To be sad is not at all my thing No, bear shouldn't play the fool <sighs> Being a clown is no life for me Played in the mountains 
with all my friends and my family by my side. I was so free. They took all that from me. Growl now, you clown bear, and forget you're a proud bear. Till I get out of here, I'll hide my tears and anger, and dance for crowds and make them laugh and cheer out loud. So. Sad. Being in a cage or being made to do what isn't natural for you is sad. We should all be allowed to follow our hearts and do those things that make us feel glad. Yes, sometimes we have to do things we don't like, homework, for instance, or stay at school all day. But those are part of learning who you are and what you're good at doing. That's true, Clyde. I write and read because I love it. If I couldn't do that. I'd be sad. Well, let me show you another Asiatic bear that has it much better these days. We're in Thailand with the smallest of all bears, the sun bear. There's a crescent-shaped yellow patch on their chests. They have big paws that have no hair on them to make climbing trees easier. Sun bears live in tropical rainforests. They are excellent climbers and often sleep in trees. <laughs> Song. Don't have a cat, that's how I have my phone No clothes to wear, don't have to clean my hair Wash my hair, I'm just a lazy bear Laying in the sun, that's how I have my fun Laying in the sun, that's how I have my fun Lots to eat, fruits and some to iced tea Hanging in the branches, I don't even want to play I don't care if you stare, I'm so lazy fair There's nothing can compare with being a lazy bear Just laying in the sun, that's how I have my fun It's really so much fun, just laying in the just laying in the sun, laying in the sun, laying in the sun, just laying in the sun. Bum, 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 bum. Okie dokie, Danny. That's about all the time I have today. I've got to get going. But don't be a stranger. Come back and visit me again soon. Clyde, thank you so much for all that you've shared with us today. I'll see you on my next trip to Manitoba. Bye, Clyde Bear. <laughs> Bye. So, kids, what do you think about bears? That was so cool. Well, that's it for today, kids.
like